Hello and warm greetings from IP Innovative Publication. I welcome you all for joining today's session. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you in, here in this meeting and it's session two, meticulous fix about reviewership of IP Innovative Publishing Week 2024. First of all, a very warm good evening to you all and thank you for being a part of this session again. A very happy lorry to all of you and I wanted to express my gratitude for your contribution and incredible dedication throughout the past year whether it was related to reviewing in articles or whether it was uh, related to being a part of an editorial board of the journal. And with your contribution and support, we are reaching new heights as recently our many journals got indexed in Scopus. Uh, after that, before today's session, I want to introduce myself first. I'm Shishti Chaudhary working as an editorial assistant in IP Innovative Publication. And I have done my master's in biotechnology and have an overall experience of around three plus years in publishing sector. So while working in publishing industry, it has enhanced my uh, editing skills throughout the continuous learning process and commitment to managing the uh, ethical standards in publishing industry. Um, before we'll begin, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude again to all those who have joined this meeting today. And let me uh, like give a brief introduction about our speakers. Our first speaker is Dr. Josna Seth. She is a professor in Department of Prostodontics, Seema Dental College, and Hospital Vishikesh Uttarakhand. She has around 20 plus publications in esteemed national and international journals. And she'll be explaining the specific loopholes in reviewing. Then our speaker too is Dr. Dhruvendra Pandey. And uh, he is an associate professor in Department of Community Medicine, Common Medical College, Satlam, Madhya Pradesh. He is uh, a reviewer in one of our journal, the Journal of Community Health Management, and also have many publications in reputed journals. He has brief knowledge of peer review process and today he'll be guiding about met meticulous facts about reviewership and benefits of being a reviewer board. So now I'm going to share my screen to start today's session. So I welcome you again to the IP Novity Publishing Week 2024 and it's all about meticulous facts about reviewership. Uh, it's a welcome note for you all. This is reviewers training meticulous facts about reviewership. Thank you again for being a part of this session. And I welcome you all in this session. Then uh, this is the training insights. Our speaker uh, one is Dr. Jyotsna Seth and our speaker two is Dr. Dhruvendra Pandey. Then uh, here are a brief intro of our recently indexed journals. So these are some of our journals which got recently indexed in Scopus and UGC. Uh, number one is the International Journal of Medical Microbiology and Tropical Disease. Then we have APRD, Annals of Prosthodontics and Respiratory, uh, res uh, Restorative Dentistry, that got indexed in UGC. Then we have IJCED, Indian Journal of Clinical and Experimental Dermatology. IJCA, Indian Journal of Clinical Anesthesia. PGMS, Panacea Journal of Medical Sciences, it is indexed with DOHA. And IJCEO, Indian Journal of Clinical and Experimental Ophthalmology. So now I want to hand over today's session to our speaker one, Dr. Dhruvendra Pandey, sir. I request you to please uh, like uh, share your screen to present today's session. Thank you. Is my screen visible? Yes, it is visible. in full screen mode? Ha, it is on full screen. Okay. So, uh, good evening, dear participants, uh, panelists, and uh, uh, I am very thankful to Innovative Publication for giving me the opportunity to speak about the meticulous facts about the reviewership. So, uh, 
first of all uh, when we thought about the uh, reviewership that means basically when the word meaning goes around that means review so you have to review what the uh, other can do in this field so basically in the reviewership uh, the things are that that you have to check meticulously that uh, uh, are the person who are doing the, uh, this research, are they are justifying with the topics and justifying with the methodology and uh, uh, did the proper analysis and uh, uh, write all the meticulous facts related to the, that topics in their article. So basically, uh, that was the uh, basically uh, part of that reviewing. And when we talk about the reviewing, it is basically we go for the peer reviewing. Uh, reviewing. So, what is peer reviewing? So, peer review is uh, is the evaluation of work by a group of people uh, having same level of competencies and working in same field. Uh, it is a system used to assess the quality of manuscript before it is published. So, basically, in the peer reviewing, uh, uh, the first thing you have to go that. Uh, uh, while you are reviewing about any topic or any research paper, then you have to think that this is the uh, my core field. I am going to review it because uh, I have a uh, sufficient knowledge regarding these topics. So this always uh, always thinks about this fact. To uh, and also uh, the thing said that you have to assess the quality of the manuscript because when it is published it is a written document and we all know that the uh, um, the value of the written document is very very high so uh, we have to go uh, and we have to always justify with it uh, this reviewing process now uh, when we talk about the reviewership so uh, first thing that uh, the reviewership is always anonymous that that means uh, that the uh, re uh, that reviewer cannot uh, uh, did not have any knowledge about who is the author of that article and also the author uh, did not have any knowledge about who is the reviewing his article so basically all these things are anonymous uh, this is because uh, because uh, we all know that we are the human beings and we have uh, some kind of soft knowledge about about a soft thing about anything and we have an emotional person so uh, because in this reviewing we cannot go with that uh, emotion we always go with the knowledge so uh, this uh, reviewing process is always be anonymous we have to critically evaluate uh, the uh, subject which has uh, written because many a times uh, sometimes uh, because of uh, less knowledge or because of anything uh, that is not related with that uh, subject matter so at that time uh, the author can um, just write about anything which is not related with the article so this always to uh, keep in the mind and always we have to critically review that that this topic is uh, sufficiently uh, uh, explained in this article then second thing uh, th the third thing is the that quality control so because we have to go for the quality control uh, that uh, that uh, the uh, they there are the subject matter is very novel uh, they have sufficient uh, 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 things and sufficient methodology and all aspect of the research methodology are followed in this so uh, these things all kept in the mind so we always go in the peer reviewing for the quality control then time commitment is also important for the peer prayer reviewing because that uh, that you have to reply within a time frame so uh, when you are uh, go for the peer reviewing you always keep that you have a sufficient time to give this article so uh, the time commitment Commitment is very very important and many a times when uh, we go for the senior persons for the reviewing because uh, they have a sub, uh, very vast knowledge about the field but they don't have a uh, sufficient time so this is always be a problem for the reviewership then uh, confidentiality so we all know that uh, if you are reviewing anything Thing, then confidentiality should always be maintained and uh, the last thing is the continuous improvement because this is the fact that when we you go for the reviewership and reviewing then your knowledge is always been uh, be increased uh, by time to time in the reviewing and we all know that uh, when we go for the any uh, job purpose or any field purpose uh, then uh, our knowledge and our field is restricted so at that time uh, this is the article reading and reviewing is a good thing that you always be improved in your uh, subject matter now what is the qualities of the reviewer so uh, the for the quality we always think about that the educational 
qualification so when you are a, uh, anyone request you for the reviewing or uh, you submit uh, uh, to the any journal that i want to become a reviewer then uh, this is always kept in the mind that uh, what is your knowledge level and with, in this which journal you are applying for the reviewership so this always being and your quali educational qualification will always met to that uh, journals requirement now uh, the second quality of the reviewer is the research experience because uh, you all know that uh, the most of the article published in the uh, a very reputed journal or uh, in this kind of the journal they are basically they are research and uh, these research are uh, based on their knowledge so if you have a sufficient knowledge about the research then only you can go uh, for the reviewership then expertise so, so uh, from the initiation of this topic i always say that what is your expertise and you always go for the reviewership which topic you are uh, having the sufficient knowledge then timeliness is the quality because if you are submitting that uh, uh, i will submit i will review this article in 0 to 5 days or 5 to 10 days or 10 to 15 days then always be kept on that thing that if you are committed for the any timeline then you always be in the timeline and also the responsible because if you are taking the responsibility for the reviewership then you always think that uh, i am the responsible person and i have to go with the timeline for the reviewership now what are the roles of, uh, of the reviewer so the reviewer uh, the peer reviewer have access to amazing opportunity like network building knowledge sharing so we all know that knowledge sharing uh, is the basic core about these review process because you go, don't get any kind of the uh, other benefits apart from the academic excellence so uh, so this always be kept in mind if you are doing the review you you will get a academic excellence your network will build up you you always be updated that what kind of the research are going on in this uh, world around you so you uh, this uh, will be your uh, basically uh, the access or the, that is your opportunity then uh, the role of the reviewer is or the other is that you are help in the enhancing the professional standards along with the quality of the published content and the third thing the reviewer should always be to ensure that the impact and integrity by providing the evaluation to the manuscript so uh, you always be uh, very uh, integral about this uh, reviewership now what are the benefits we always think about the benefits but the main benefit is your academic excellence that is the main benefit but apart from that uh, it will uh, gives you a good opportunity for your academic excellence your knowledge excellence it will help you in the promotion because there are many channels are there like orchid or uh, these ids uh, if you are submitting any reviewership and you are uh, submitting that i i reviewed these articles and you just paste that link to the orchid then it will be get a credit to you so it will also be a uh, good and uh, then uh, uh, many a times for the promotion pro data it is uh, things that how many journals you are a reviewer so it will get a uh, points for the promotion also it will help you in the your excellence because if you are going for the uh, vast knowledge so definitely at any place where you stand up this will be helpful and uh, it will also uh, gives you an offer because if you are associated with the, any journal then definitely and they will give you some offers for the publication uh, uh, publication ethics and publication point of view so they will help you in this matters also then there should be a, some credit points in, in the uh, benefit so uh, you are just taking uh, these uh, credit points and it will help you in the publication aspects and it will give you a, a recognition that uh, every journal endorses you that you are a reviewer of that journal so it will give you a vast uh, recognition and also uh, many a times for the it will be helpful in the innovative awards so uh, if you are doing a good reviewer uh, reviewer job and you reviewed many articles in the year then definitely it will help you in getting the awards like best researcher uh, best, best reviewer awards or uh, that highest reviewer award so these kinds of award that is uh, helpful in their promotion and your academic excellence that will you get in the reviewer process now uh, one of the main uh, that uh, 
benefit for the reviewership is the networking and collaboration opportunity so the reviewer generally connects with the writers researchers and subject matters expert in their field by participating in review uh, peer reviewing process so uh, this developing connection with the other industry experts can result in the beneficial partnership and sharing of the ideas so definitely it will help you in the multi centric studies and participation and network excellence uh, so uh, that is the uh, main benefit benefits apart from that you always get a career development because it will help in engaging in uh, review building ex uh, expertise and credibility within the academic and professional community and also it will reviewing also help in the promotional activities and improve familiarity with the industry norms and enable the reviewers to gain the respect among the academia and the scientific knowledge apart from that uh, definitely it will help in the communication skill so reviewing help in the improvement of writing and communication skills by giving authors constructive criticism and feedback it uh, critically evaluate research articles and provide you ideas and recommendation in a clear cognitive manner through reviewing and it's a good thing that if you are uh, reviewing any any article so when you will be a writer then you always kept in the mind that i when i review some articles then these are the critical points which are uh, which are basic for the reviewing so when you write any article then definitely you could not do that kind of the uh, mistakes in your article so definitely it will helpful and also that was knowledge it any place where you stand this will help you in the communication uh, uh, help you in the communic developing a communication skill now um, when we talk about the reviewership then we have to know that the innovative publication has a very good platform for the reviewing so uh, that platform for the reviewing is the uh, here is the uh, manuscript peer review process that is mprp so in this portal uh, this is the portal and the, uh, the login is that uh, www.mprp.in in this uh, that uh, review process uh, this uh, that uh, website is looks like that that the manuscript peer review so manuscript peer reviewing is a process is a web based portal that can access 24 uh, 7 undergo internet connection so this kind of link and here the options are there home about mprp journal contact us and there the option are the registered and login when you are associated with the any journal they will give you a login id and password and you got a mail uh, that uh, these articles are allotted to you for your reviewing process so when you go in this uh, website firstly you have to log in so just like i am showing that my id so uh, this i put my id in the login my password and uh, select your profile so here you have to select the reviewer so then uh, i am not a robot this kind of uh, checkbox are there so you have to tick and then uh, just go by login apart from that you can also log in by the google account or by the orchid account so that is also uh, there but i just uh, for myself i make a, a separate account for this uh, review process so when we log in then this kind of screens are in their um, my desktop so uh, the uh, uh, there is the option on the left side uh, bar that the uh, dex, uh, uh, dashboard managing review article then uh, reviewer guidelines reviewer credit points edit profile social profile co-authors manuscript uh, get credit and log out so like uh, in the current scenario i have allotted one article to me they have allotted one article to me so this article is showing so just in the desktop uh, uh, that how many articles are showing to you so that was uh, already uh, shown to you apart from that uh, you can uh, here on the left side bar you have to uh, see that there is a plus option so just click on that plus option and that bar is open so uh, just like that uh, when i select that i <clears throat> select that article so there is an option for the download articles and <laughs> article plagiarism report and add comments so here firstly you have to download the article so you get that uh, a blinded copy of that article then apart from that you have to always check for the plagiarism report because you all know that the plagiarism uh, is uh, uh, basically uh, not a ethical uh, ethically good thing and you uh, if there is a 
much error in the plagiarism that you have to uh, uh, give comments to the author that uh, you have to rewrite that article. So uh, here uh, you have to download the articles and when you go through that articles and you note down all the comments in the article, then just uh, click on the add comment option and here uh, just clicking on the add comments, you get the um, different uh, boxes where you have to write the uh, reviewer comments and apart from that one good thing is there when you download the article in the word file uh, there is an option of a review and where you, you can add a, add comments so at any place where you found that is there there is a uh, diff, um, there is a problem uh, in the uh, grammar manner or some methodological errors or some uh, review uh, that uh, referencing error or uh, all these things such so just you click and review and add comments so uh, he, here in the word file you can write and review process and that uh, you can save here so while you uh, in the add comment option there is an option for attach the file so that word file where you have uh, noted down all the reviewer comments that you have to add and submit in the reviewer process now <clears throat> in the same in general, there is an option for the instruction to the reviewer. This is a very important thing because uh, before going for the any review process, just you have to go through with these instructions. Uh, here, the uh, various points are there uh, which will help you in the reviewing process. These are the peer review, conducting review, uh, peer review checklist, what you have to check, then ethical guidelines for the peer review, originality, join as a reviewer, comment to editor, how to submit review report article peer review process. So here in the detail, all these things, uh, what you have, uh, in what way you have to go for the reviewing process, that all things are uh, there in the instruction to the reviewer. And that option is in the, actually the in the left sidebar, third one, that reviewer guidelines. So these are the reviewer guidelines that are in the uh, that uh, web page. Now, uh, apart from that, when you are uh, open in that base page, there is option for the publication ethics. So, uh, as you all know, we have to follow the publication ethics at, at uh, each and every point. So, you go through that publication ethics. Uh, now, <clears throat> Apart from that, there is option for the uh, that reviewer zone. So in the reviewer zone, uh, there is an option for the plus. When you click on that plus, there is option for the reviewer credit points. So these credit points are basically uh, the points which a reviewer will get uh, after reviewing the manuscript. It is a kind of appreciation for the valuable efforts and the time invested by the reviewer. After each review, you will eligible for availing one credit points and, uh, and also certificate of reviewing for the same manuscript which you, are, uh, which you have reviewed. Apart from these credit points, the reviewer can forward the appreciation mail to the review.webofscience.com. So this is the web of science is basically your arcade ID website. So when you forward that mail that this review is added in your orchid and that will show in the there your orchid account and can avail the benefits. If web of science will consider your review as verified review, they will also add one point to your WS account. So this will benefits and apart from that um, if you are reviewing in one to five manuscript in one year then you will get some benefit then six to ten you will get additional benefits and when you review more than 40 and above then you will get, uh, get a more than uh, sufficient benefits from their uh, that journal and this is the uh, basically a good thing from the innovative publication that they will giving us a uh, good credit points for their review process so i'm very thankful for the uh, innovative publication for these efforts so basically thank you uh, we appreciate your time and insight and thank you for your time and consideration thank you so much thank you so much sir it was a very wonderful presentation from your end and it was really very helpful for the persons who don't know how to review an article from mprp and yes, it was very well said that we are giving credit points as well that can be uh, uh, that can be used or availed for uh, uh, like publishing any article for buying any book from IP Innovative Publication. So now I'm um, continuing uh, to this session. Can you please stop sharing your screen? Yes. Yeah. All right. 
thank you so much again it's it was a very wonderful and inspirational uh, presentation from your end now i would i would like to announce some of the awards or recognitions from for few of our journals for that i'm going to share my screen again and uh, i will be announcing the uh, best reviewers of 23 so for uh, the indian journal of pathology and oncology on the behalf of editor in chief we would like to announce Dr. Ifat Jamal is recognized as best reviewer for IJPO for the academic year 23. Apart from her, uh, Dr. Nitya Prabhakaran also have done very wonderful job in reviewing the articles. She joined as a reviewer recently with us in April or May, and she has reviewed around 35 to 40 articles in last two or three issues. Then we have Indian Journal of Clinical Anesthesia. So first of all, I would like to congratulate the Editor-in-Chief of this journal uh, for being sorry for the interruption. Yeah, please. Uh, for Indian Journal of Clinical Anesthesia recently has been indexed with Scopus. In this journal, Dr. Uh, Pradnia Milind has been considered as best reviewer and Dr. Manjula Sarkar as well has been considered as best reviewer for the academic year 23. Then coming back to our next uh, journal, I would like to announce uh, just a minute. Then for uh, International Journal of Orthopedic Rheumatology, IJOR, Dr. Subramaniam Nalasivan has been considered as the best reviewer for this particular journal. Then we have IJ. Uh, MR, Indian Journal of Microbiology Research. Dr. Ajay Kumar Prajapati has been considered as best reviewer for this journal. Apart from Dr. Ajay, so Dr. Santosh Kotagri and Dr. Shashi Kare also has been considered as best reviewer. Then we have Journal of Management Research and Analysis. Uh, Mr. Rakesh Pandit and Dr. R. Satish Kumar has been considered as best reviewer for the academic year 23. Apart from this other journal, APRD, which recently has been indexed with UGC, Dr. Neha Hajra has been recognized as best reviewer for the academic year 23 for APRD. I want to congratulate all the reviewers, authors, and editors who are a part of this meeting and are associated with this journal for being indexed with UGC recently. Then we have ACHR. Uh, for ACHR, Dr. Kafil Akhtar has been considered as best reviewer. Apart from him, Dr. Sushma, Dr. Madhvi, and Dr. Ramya Chitturi also has been considered. Then we have IJPP, Indian Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology. For this journal, Dr. Chandan Chatterjee has been recognized as best reviewer for the academic year 23. Apart from Dr. Chatterjee, Dr. Ram Narayan Prajapati, Dr. Vignesh Palaji Ishwaram, and Professor Gane D. Uh, Barkade also has been uh, did a wonderful job in reviewing the articles. Then coming back to our next journal, International Journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Research. For this journal, Dr. Abhinav Manish uh, is recognized as best reviewer who has uh, done a very wonderful job in reviewing the articles for the academic year 23. Then our next journal, IJCED. This is Indian Journal of Clinical and Experimental Dermatology. I want to congratulate all the authors, reviewers, and editors who are being associated with this particular journal for being indexed in Scopus recently last month. And it is all because of your hard work and contribution. Dr. Aditya Fawade is recognized as best reviewer for IJCD. Apart from him, Dr. Bela Padihar also has been considered as best reviewer. Now, I would like to invite our second speaker for the... Uh, uh, our second speaker is Dr. Jyotsna Seth, and she is a professor in uh, Seema Dental College, Rishikesh Uttarakhand. Now, I would like to request Dr. Jyotsna, ma'am, for continue with your uh, presentation. Please continue, ma'am. Thank you, Shristi. And I would just share my screen. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am, it is totally visible. Okay. Uh, thank you, Shushti. Thank you, Dhruvendra, sir. I think it was really a great talk before me. You have covered everything regarding reviewership. 
and thank you innovative publication and special thanks to nikita ma'am and rakesh sir for uh, always providing the platform to say something in front of the people out here sir uh, okay now today i will be discussing about the meticulous facts about the reviewership there are few specific loopholes we find out in a reviewing now what's that as being uh, i'm dr jotsna i'm working as a professor in department of prosthodontics sima dental college hospital rishikesh so the first question how it feels as an being editor it's a very uh, tricky question because it is difficult to understand what the editor actually goes about right so my journey started actually from a reviewership just like that only nobody can just become a editor you have to i would request everyone to understand that we there is a step in the scientific community out there from where you have to cross a few um, battles to come to being an editor i would i would say that initially i was being a reviewer but uh, now being an editor it's all entirely a different uh, feeling altogether because basically uh, reviewership is little easy i feel it when i was a reviewer you a manuscript will come to you you will open that tab you will review that manuscript and that it is about you don't know about the author you don't have any hard feelings or something regarding that author and you will just just say yes you like the uh, manuscript or you don't like so that that is all about the reviewership but as being an editor i actually feel that there was a dual sense of uh, motivation and responsibility because sitting at that point where there are a lot of you you actually feel that you're a facilitator between the researcher and the scientific the broader communities when you are putting some you're letting some uh, manuscript to come on that specific journal right and i would say that i feel a part of that academic world and wider academic community the favorite part of being editor is that we receive submission on a various recent topics of my field i really feel good that all the authors are really working very hard and it's really great to see such an advance manuscripts coming on of our field and we really feel i feel proud to uh, make a part of these uh, manuscript in our journal it's a, it's a basically i would say that it's a constant learning as being an editor and i would say that how eclectic and collaborative we our whole team works like a, a, a team just like a team i would say nikita madam anshu shrishti all our speakers who are actually dedicated to um, innovative publication to make a better uh, academic grounds for the scientific the new researchers which are actually coming and i would say that but trust me initially this was quite tough and i would i would just give my small advice to the early career scientist i would say that uh, you should opt for such journals like i would say that innovative publication they are doing a really a great job you should opt for such pro, uh, journals which have a great insight you will get a great insight how the publication works actually as being an editor part or a, on a reviewer part they they have really standardized lot of protocols at the at the researcher level at the reviewer level as well as at the editor level this is what i feel and i, I thank you and i'm really appreciated being a part of associate editor in the international journal of all held industry now coming to the specific uh, loopholes when we talk about the peer review okay there are few uh, specific uh, loopholes which you can see the first is conflict of in interest pressure to publish plagiarism and misconduct inadequate oversight and data anonymity that is anonymous review expert and availability we will discuss it one by one so what are the various actually peer review as dhruvendra sir told what happens in the peer review i will just go uh, slide by slide the purpose of the peer review procedure is to guarantee the caliber and integrity of the academic works however system may include flaws or vulnerabilities that occasionally jeopardize its efficiency now when we talk about the peer review for example any author is writing some manuscript clear that manuscript he has submitted to the journal guidelines and he has submitted to that specific journal where his expertise is being involved right for example as being a dentist i will put it my uh, manuscript to those journals where i am being related right i will not put it on an anesthesia journal i will i will not put it in some other journal which i am not related or my study is not related i will not put in the microbiology journal till my study is somehow related to the microbiology right first thing now what happened to the peer review now what happened author doesn't know that who is author has submitted the manuscript to the journal that specific journal which is related to that 
uh, fields, right? So now what happens? That journal goes to that system for a journal. For example, International Journal of Oral Health Dentistry, it will come to that system. Now, according to the system, editor plays a role. What they will put this responsibility to, to the various reviewers and they will send those manuscripts to the particular um, uh, field which uh, the person is expertized to it. For example, if I am from a prosthodo department, now uh, editor knows that this person is, for example, this no, this person is from prosthodo department and this article, the manuscript which is coming, it's it's related to the prosthodo work. So that I will submit to that reviewer. I will give that responsibility to that, that reviewer to review that journal. So author doesn't know who is the reviewer. Reviewer doesn't know who is the author. So this is called a peer review procedure. Whatever we say that it's got a loopholes or whatever, but the whole scientific committee or the academic uh, world is moving around this peer review. Except this, we don't have any other choice till now. Now, what are the various uh, loopholes I would say? The first is reviewers expertise and availability, right? The, there are a lot of things what uh, in the peer review flaws are. The, the one is the reviewer's expertise and availability. Reviewers occasionally might not have the requisite knowledge in the particular field of the manuscript they are evaluating, right? For example, now these days, what is coming up actually? Now, uh, they will, any journal, like uh, there are X number of journals coming in the market. So now what they are doing, they are approaching any, any reviewer and they're putting that manuscript, right? So whenever some reviewer is getting that email, in spite of checking that it's uh, that manuscript is related to his or her field, they just evaluate it because for the certain reason, for example, they, they will have a certificate regarding that uh, manuscript after reviewing some few credit points for the reviewer reviewing that article. So what is happening if I'm not related to that uh, uh, article or that study, I will not do the justice to that study, right? So this is one of the flaw which is upcoming now these days. Now, the second point is, in some cases, the reviewer might also not have enough time to evaluate the work in its entirely, which could result in reviews that are skimmed over, right? So what happened? There are Now, these days, the tabs are there. It goes to a reviewer. Now, you will, you can, are you okay to review this manuscript? You have to press yes or no. Right. So that what happens that we are giving chance to the reviewer if you have time. So to review an article, then only review or then only press yes, just for the sake of that you are you wanted to review the article or by your uh, sweet will, you will do that. No. So it's a, basically you you should at that time when the email is coming to you that you have enough time to review that article. You should do that. If yes, then you are reviewing the article. If no. If you don't have a time, don't review it because actually you are doing, you're not doing justice to that manuscript, right? Coming to the third point, reviewers may provide reviews of lower quality if they are routinely inundated with requests for reviews. This may lead to a general deterioration in the peer review process rigor. What happened? Now, uh, there are specific reviewers who are quite active, right? We know this person is quite active in reviewing the article. Now, what, what we keep on doing, we keep on sending request again and again to that reviewer so that the manuscript has to be reviewed, right? But what is happening now again and again that uh, reviewer is getting that piled up reviewer uh, articles to his credit. Now, what is happening? As soon as he's the piling up of manuscripts are there, he will not do justice to one manuscript or other way he will just see just 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 flip the pages and he will say okay this is fine right so i think that is one very important point the reviewers the we should not keep on holding one or two reviewers so that we should we are piling up with them more of more manuscripts now come to the anonymity while anonymity is often preserved in the peer review process to encourage the honest feedback, it can sometimes lead to unfair criticism or lack of accountability of reviewer comments. Yes, this is very true. What is happening? If we know somebody, for example, if I know uh, Nikita Mat, right? So I would never want to demean her. I would like, ma'am, you're doing a great job, right? So I know her, right? For example, if I don't know somebody, I will put criticism like that only. While reviewing, I will say, 
uh, this is not a good article. You, you don't know how to write it. Your English was not good. So whatsoever it is coming in my mind, I'm putting that reviewer's comment, which should not be done, right? Peer review process, if you don't know somebody, still you should have some ethics while commenting on some manuscript, right? Because that is a that is that has to go to author and that should not feel a very dim, demean that you are writing such comments uh, on the behalf of reward. Anonymity may mitigate biases that could arise based on the author's identity, affiliations, or previous interaction with the reviewer. For example, I got to know that I know that person and I had a little uh, conflict with that person earlier. So I will not I will not let that uh, article pass through in that journal. So right. So I think that that also one of the uh, major reason of the loophole of this uh, peer review. Incomplete and adequate data. Some journals may not have adequate monitoring or quality control procedures in data, which could lead to uneven or faulty review procedures. For example, there is, a, uh, as Dhruvendra sir has showed you, there, there is a certain protocol in the standard protocol, which is set by innovative publication, that article, how it goes through a review procedure, right? It, it has to see ethics, it has to see plagiarism check and everything and every step by step that that manuscript keeps on moving, right? So that is a certain protocol which is being set by some journal, right? But that journal should have a, they, so every journal should have a proper adequate monitoring. If it is not happening, they can be uneven or a faulty review procedures. There should be a, there should be a transparency in every manuscript which is going through and where, which is coming to the academic world. And this is our responsibility, not even of a editor, not even of a author, but I would say that it's a basic um, responsibility of everyone who is being involved in the academic uh, world. They should have that ethics of presenting or presenting any research on the academic ground right it should the ethics should be properly followed starting from the author right now when we come to the reviewers may doubt the study external validity if the data provided are insufficient to extrapolate the conclusion to a larger population or setting it's a very difficult that a study is being the uh, we are just getting a manuscript right manuscript has a very concise number of words have been word limit is being given to the abstract to the introduction now you can't actually present the complete study so now these days what uh, BMJ is doing, they're also asking the raw data of some particular study. They're asking you give us the raw data. So we will just have a check that how this, this study has been done. So in like a random random studies, when the people are presenting, they are just asking the raw data, which with which by, by which they are validating the research is going in a proper manner. Now, as I told you, plagiarism and misconduct, there are certain protocols, as I have told you, as an innovative publication they have for the reviewer check. So reviewer could copy and paste the remarks and from the other reviews, this also happened. When you don't have a time, what you do, you see the other uh, reviewer uh, comments and you just copy and paste it. So you don't have time, you said, okay, fine, let it go like that. I have also seen, some of the articles, like, like for, for example, I was just reading one article. They have told in a BMJ, reviewer one said that this study is a very, very badly written or I think they don't have a, a background of this study. And the second reviewer is giving that, yes, this study, I feel it, it is very clear and they have written very nicely. Okay, so that is one of the uh, major flaws when we review a study because it is our uh, goodwill that how we are taking that study. Okay, sometimes we get judged by the various institution, for example, the government institution or when the manuscript is coming from internationally, we little get uh, overwhelmed and we say, ah, that, that's fine. Whether it is copied or not copied that we don't see, but we get little uh, biased with that the, uh, the, the manuscript is coming from outside or from uh, not from India or from a very big institution. So we don't, we, we little get biased, right? So that should not be there. The plagiarism check, which is very, very important now these days, that has to be done. There should be no data fabrication, the duplicate submission, because if I check one um, article or a review, uh, some article, if the same thing is being uh, written in some other language and is being presented to me, it is difficult to, I, it's not, a, I'm not able to justify that I have seen this review uh, uh, initially or not. 
or the previous has been seen by me or not because it is very difficult to manage so this is one of the flaw i would say that for the peer review and the ghost writing now what is a ghost writing basically uh, the ghost writing is i am writing on someone else's behalf right so that that also affects the review process now uh, we know that everybody is uh, there is a now these days there is a pressure to publish we say that um, publish to perish so once you publish you will get uh, incentives so everybody is running after publish in uh, in short or what we say that when there is a pressure to publish again the author will keep on writing and then we are putting pressure on the reviews right so it is affecting both the review process influencing both authors as well as reviewers publication bias refers to the possibility that journal may be biased towards publishing results that are novel yes that is very true because there are a lot of studies have been done they said that uh, generally uh, in india what we see if a study is showing the positive remarks we usually accept it if a study is showing some negative marks which we think that this should not be done we don't pass that study why because maybe some some study can have a negative uh, uh, negative uh, results also it is not always that only all the study should have a positive result few studies can have a negative result also but we don't usually we don't appreciate to uh, uh, forward those studies which have a negative uh, results in their uh, negative results or would said a null data we, we don't prefer those studies according to the indian academic grounds and now coming to the conflict of interest that is very important in a peer review there is a conflict of interest arises when a reviewer's personal financial or professional links could compromise their objectivity or impartiality for example some company has funded some study and i know that company so i will just bias to that a uh, study because i know that person in that company so let let this manuscript go forward and let this manuscript come into the pro uh, procedure, uh, procedure to be uh, uh, printed so that conflict of interest is one of the major flaw i would say for the loophole would say would say in the peer review reviewers might have conflict of interest due to financial personal or professional relationships with the authors i would say this could impact their ability to provide an objective evaluation so i would say what uh, what improvements we can do to for uh, studying the peer review what um, improvements i would say i, I was very impressed uh, as dhruvendra sir was telling about the, the reviewer protocol the innovative publication has made it is beautifully made why because lot of the the only improvement what we what what we can do in the review thing we have to standardize standardize the reviewing how it is being done that is that is there i can see second it's a, a reviewing protocols have been set yes it is there reviewing protocols have been set training the reviewers that is what we are here today we are training the reviewers how it has to be done that is one of the major thing to improve this loopholes in the uh, peer review and being more rigorous in selecting and deselecting reviewers it should not be only selecting we are choosing just two or three we have got hold of two or three people and we are sending manuscripts again and again to them that should not be done i i would say i would suggest that we should be more rigorous in selecting and deselecting the reviewers and last and least i would say the uh, rewarding the reviewers yes uh, innovative publication is doing that and it's it feels good because at at my time when we were used to do reviewing it was not nothing like that some best re reviewer or something like that it feels good you feel appreciated when uh, somebody rewarded you for uh, reviewing some manuscript so that is one of the uh, uh, good thing Uh, now these days it is upcoming and i would say that so a peer uh, review uh, i would say that it's a flawed process in short we can say full of easily identified defects with little evidence that it works but nevertheless it is likely to remain central to the science and journals because there is no obvious alternative till then and i think we should continue in belief in peer reviewing whether we have a few loopholes in the peer review that is all i have to say thank you all thank you thank you so much jyotsna ma'am for sharing you. your valuable insights and for sharing your knowledge and for sharing your experience as well so i want to request please stop share your screen 
so that I can move uh, uh, forward in this presentation. And really, you have mentioned very peculiar and specific loopholes in the reviewing sector. As a reviewer, uh, I can understand like uh, uh, receiving multiple uh, papers within a week or within a week is very difficult after being a professor or after working somewhere. But also uh, there is an option like uh, if a reviewer is getting more manuscripts for reviewing, a specific person can decline the invitation easily once the person is getting uh, invitation by mail. So they can decline by mentioning the reason, like they don't have sufficient time or whether the uh, manuscript is not from their subject category. So these things also can be done from the end of the reviewers. So now I would like you to- You have given uh, such a lucrative things now. That is why reviewers don't stop <laughs> reviewing the articles. <laughs> uh, now I would like to, uh, like uh, coming back to the presentation. So for that, I'm going to share my screen again. Yes. So, uh, rest journals are also there for uh, the International Journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Research. I was mentioning Dr. Abhinav Manish is considered as best reviewer. For IJCED also, I had mentioned. Then I have IJCAP, Indian Journal of Clinical Anatomy and Physiology. For this journal, Dr. Muktapal uh, Belyaro is also considered as best reviewer for the academic year 23. Then coming back to the next journal, CTPPC, Current Trend in Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Chemistry. For this journal, Dr. Christian Gevitt and Dr. Shivanand Kolagiri has been considered as best reviewer for the academic year 23. Apart from that, also those reviewers, uh, I'm not mentioning the name here, but will be dispatching the hard copy of their certificates to their postal address. And also you might be receiving mails regarding the same for confirming the, your addresses. So please provide your complete address, uh, including your postal address, like your name, your phone number, your district, your pin code, et cetera, so that it is easy and convenient for us for sending your hard copy to your addresses. Then we have uh, IJOS, Indian Journal of Orthopedic Surgery. Dr. Naresh Kumar Satya Narayan uh, has been considered as best reviewer and Dr. Ravi Kumar Chittoria also has done a very wonderful job as serving as a reviewer. Then in IJS, we have one more, Dr. Venkatesh Way and Dr. Uh, Jain Sharma, Dr. Uh, Parth Sarthi M. Pandian also has been done a very wonderful job in reviewing the articles during the academic year 23. Then we have International Journal of Pharmaceutical Chemistry and Analysis for this journal, Dr. Uh, M. M. Prashad Rao and Dr. Sri Vishna Dr. Sri Vasa Charan A also has been uh, done a very wonderful job uh, in the academic year 23. Then we have IJCEO. This is one of our index journal in Scopus, Indian Journal of Clinical and Experimental Ophthalmology. Dr. Hari Prashad Vokuda and Dr. Pandashri Kashka Rao. Then apart from these two, we have CV Andrews, Dr. Abraham, Dr. Amit Kumar, Dr. Sayyad Sefullah and Dr. Prabha Kumar Sabhacharya. They also have been done a very wonderful job uh, during this presentation. Now I want to interrupt this PPT and this presentation and I would like to uh, push our first poll question of this particular session. So I want to request Dr. Nikita to please present our first poll question for this session. Uh, thanks, Shashti. Uh, yeah. Can you please stop your screen? Yeah, please, Adam. So our first poll question is, what is the role of peer reviewer in the process to promote author's work, to rewrite a paper and their words, to identify flaws, errors, and uh, areas of improvement in the paper, and to reject the paper? Oh, so 21 second pass. And the maximum answer we received is third. I'm sharing the results. Yeah. 
yeah it was one of the correct answer like what is the role of a peer reviewer in the process to promote author's work to rewrite the paper in their own words no definitely not to identify flaws errors and areas of improvement in the manuscript and to reject the paper obviously it is third to identify what the errors what the uh, like uh, corrections what uh, additions or modifications can be done in the paper to uh, modify the quality to update the quality of the paper to uh, make it publishable now uh, coming back to our presentation i would like to announce uh, some of other journals which are still uh, there in the queue and i have other journals here i think my screen is visible to all then i have a uh, international journal of medical microbiology and tropical disease this journal also has been indexed in scopus recently in past month for this journal dr d senthil pragash and dr ento pv these two has been considered as best reviewer for the academic year 23 i want to congratulate all the reviewers authors and editors again who are associated with this journal uh, for getting being in indexed in scopus then i have ijos uh, jos jco sorry journal of contemporary orthodontics for this journal dr pritam uh, mohanty has been considered as best reviewer then we have ijirm indian journal of immunology and respiratory medicine dr suryakant has been considered as best reviewer for this particular journal coming back to the next indian journal of conservative endodontics IJCE Dr Anita Rao is recognized as best reviewer uh, for the year 23 then we have IJODR Indian Journal of Orthodontics and Dentofacial Research Dr Harneet Kaur uh, is recognized as best reviewer for this journal then we have IJOR Indian Journal of Orthopedic Rheumatology Dr Subramanian Nallisavan again is uh, best reviewer for this particular journal then we have ijogr indian journal of obstetrics and gynecology research this is again one of our scopus index journal dr kavita praveen dukre and dr nirmala kumar sinha has been considered as best reviewer apart from these two dr gomthi and dr jalpa bhat dr girish bl uh, govda dr savita rani singhal and dr sarika gautam has been considered as best reviewer then we have ijmi indian journal of maxillofacial imaging uh, dr nishant kumar and dr deepak grover has been considered as best reviewer then we have ijhd dr lakshmi sen kumar dr siddharth sp behra dr amina sultan akm shafulla uh, akm shaful and dr saran dr saran babu has been considered as best reviewer now Uh, i would like to interrupt the presentation again and i request dr nikita to uh, coin our second poll question for this particular journal please i request dr nikita ha huh. it is visible Uh, shashti can you please read it for some uh, all uh which of the following is potential benefit of the peer review process reduced publication time enhancing the credibility and reliability of published research ensuring only positive feedback for authors and increased biasness in research findings so what is the uh, potential benefit of the peer review process uh, in this uh, particular uh, review process we'll be waiting for few more seconds to get maximum answer
I request uh, Dr. Nikita Ma'am, please uh, show the answers to all the participants or all the attendees. Yes, uh, the correct answer is enhancing the credibility and reliability uh, reliability of published research. Uh, so, ninety five percent of the votes goes for this particular answer. Yeah, it is. It was one of the correct answers. Can you please stop? Uh, yeah. So now I want to uh, request Dr. Nikita for uh, like uh, putting your valuable inputs and insights in this particular training and for sharing your experience, how it feels like our journals are now getting indexed in Scopus. Please share your valuable insights for the student. Uh, thank you, Shashti. And uh, today's session is mind blowing. Uh, so uh, good evening, everyone. I'm wishing you all a very happy new year along with the uh, uh, beautiful day of glory. So uh, this is the all the eminent personality who is uh, here and uh, my great friend, uh, Dr. Jyotsna Madam and Dr. Dhruven sir, who is enlightening us with the uh, topic today. So uh, as we know that research is a, a backbone of society and we are here. I, I, I always use this uh, streamline for, uh, for my uh, speech during our uh, maximum program because I strongly believe that research is the backbone of society and we all together have to work hard for giving all the uh, social and uh, other uh, research media to be get all community uh, and all community to be updated with the all new researchers in the um, world. So um, I thank Dr. Jyotsna Madam, Dr. Dhuvendra Pandey for enlightening today us uh, with the knowledge and uh, uh, and in the dais of research publication. My sincere thanks to all editor, reviewers, authors, collaborators, editorial staff, publishing team and their hard work. Uh, and many congratulations to all the editor in chief, editors, team, editorial uh, assistance for the indexed journal, uh, which is uh, the new year gift for all of us. Um, so uh, I'm excited to share uh, with you the name as uh, Dr. Uh, Shrashti also mentioned in her presentation for the Scopus indexing for Indian General of Clinical and Experimental Ophthalmology, Indian General of Obstetric Gynecology Research, uh, PJMS Panasia General of Medical Science, Indian General of Clinical Anesthesia, Indian General of Clinical and Experimental Dermatology, APRD, and IJMM TD Tropical Disease. So uh, I congratulate each and every one uh, of them, even including me also i'm too happy for all of us uh, so um, i am uh, thrilled to announce one more uh, thing uh, that uh, significant development in indian general of clinical anesthesia uh, the world association of medical Edi uh, editors that is vam uh, has officially recognized the inducted of dr lalit gupta uh, editor in chief of uh, ijca in the official member of VAM. So uh, this recognition by VAM is a treatment to his uh, outstanding contribution and uh, extreme uh, in, uh, in the expertise in, in the field. Underst uh, underscoring the journal comments, uh, commitment to scholarly excellence and upholding the highest standard of academic publishing. So IJCA is uh, now in the VAM with and uh, the uh, mem uh, Dr. Lalit Gupta sir is the official member of uh, VAM now. So I congratulate him and uh, I uh, I appreciate all other editors to be um, to be get more updates about VAM and IJMCE and uh, uh, become a member of this particular um, eminent society. Uh, it is very um, important and uh, they they are, I mean, they are uh, creating a, a great, uh, um, uh, I mean, 
uh, this this makes our generals and even your portfolio very strong so i uh, request you all for uh, this so uh, at innovative publication our commitment is to fostering excellence in scholarly communication i congratulate all the members who are uh, getting excellence awards in editors in uh, uh, reviewers and in authors categories so uh, i guess in a, uh, authors publishing week is uh, next week right so stay tuned for that and i again thank you uh, all of you for joining this uh, session and stay tuned for the next session thank you uh, sorry to interrupt but still a few things left and also a few journals also left in our uh, line so yeah. uh, i would like to request uh, uh, like uh, please stay tuned with this session uh, i am going to share my screen again and it is a short uh, like summary of reviewing an article as bruvendra sir, sir has very well explained but i would like to uh, like uh, uh, request some of our uh, reviewers who don't have their profiles complete uh, within this nprp manuscript peer review process where all of our editorial work is going on either reviewing either editing everything so uh, this is a mprp panel from there a particular reviewer author and editor can log in by using their id and password i am like a hair login as a reviewer just for showing you some things so i am logging into the reviewers panel uh, as a reviewer i think there is some internet connectivity issue just please hold on for a few seconds yes so now i am able to log in into the in, uh, reviewer panel it is how a reviewer panel looks like so once you are receiving an invitation for reviewing an article uh, most of the times we are receiving queries regarding like how to review an article where to get the articles we are not able to see the articles for review in our reviewer dashboard so this is very uh, this is very first uh, click uh, like in the dashboard here i am seeing article for review once you are getting invitation for reviewing an article you need to click on this particular article you are uh, it is asking for download the article file when you are downloading the article file it is the review time please choose it precisely and on the basis of your availability if you are choosing it 0 to 5 days Uh, only choose in that condition if you are able to review it in five days. In some cases, exceptional cases, it is okay. But uh, we have a lot of cases like the reviewer have chosen zero to five days, and it's uh, like fifteen days till I have assigned the paper, and still I am not getting any feedback from reviewers. And so what's happening? It is delaying in the publication process. It is halting the process. So it's a humble request. Please choose the time frame as per your availability. Once you are choosing the time. then you are getting an option to download the article file you will be downloading the article file then you will be checking it whether it is uh, fulfilling the uh, requirements whether it is fulfilling the journal's guidelines or not then here you are getting an option to add comment in a number of cases what's happening reviewers are choosing except paper after a minor revision and the confidential comment they are writing except in present form so here our motto is not getting sorted we need like what minor revisions you want from authors and so uh, it is very important please give your specific feedback in the paper so that it is helpful for us also working in editorial office and for authors also to rectify that particular issue apart from this reviewing i would like to request our reviewer uh our reviewer members that there is an option add or edit subject category so what's happening like if a person is not uh, having their subject category means uh, as working uh, from editorial office i don't know what's your specific area of interest in which particular topic you have expertise so what we are expecting uh, it's a humble request to all of the reviewers who are being part of this session today 
प्लीज अपडेट योर सब्जेक्ट कैटेगरी एज पर योर एक्सपर्टीज और एज पर योर एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बिकॉज वी डोंट नो वॉट इज योर एरिया ऑफ सब्जेक्ट सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू जस्ट सिंपली चूज द मेन सब्जेक्ट लाइक मेडिसिन नर्सिंग वॉट एवर सब्जेक्ट यू बिलोंग्स टू देन यू नीड टू चूज सब सब्जेक्ट कैटेगरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट सो आई बी चूजिंग ऑन्कोलॉजी then if your sub subject is coming into this list then it is well and good if it is not coming then simply write it here like uh, in oncology uh, somebody is uh, carcinoma carcinoma expert somebody is like breast pathology breast oncology so these subject category can be written here and simply click on save subject so it will give us a rough idea like what's your subject category then we have here review your credit points also you are reviewing the article you are getting the credit point for the same so as uh, these are some of the dummy articles which i have like for test purpose i have uh, reviewed so here you are getting these credit points you need to check the guidelines also if you are not well aware of the journals guidelines you can check the journals guidelines from this particular section then coming back to the reviewer zone you can check here the checklist is there reviewer credit point is there so everything is very well written and dhruvendra sir also have uh, explained each and everything in a very precise and in a very informative manner so it's a humble request from editorial office of ip innovative to update the subject category into your reviewer panel and if you are getting an article for reviewing please ask these two or three questions from yourself like does the article match in your field if yes then only accept the invitation if it is not matching your field please decline the invitation by mentioning the reason like this is not your expertise you don't have enough time then the second question can you finish the review within the time frame if you are choosing 10 to 15 days so is it possible from your end to review the article in 10 to 15 days if not then you can ask for extension in that particular time but please uh, make sure the time frame then do you have any conflicts in reviewing this particular paper and uh, one more line i would like to say it is okay to say no rather than not replying to the invitation so if you are getting an invitation either simply say yes or either say no but if we are getting the pending invitation neither you have accepted nor you have rejected what we are supposed to expect so we are expecting that you will be reviewing the article so if you don't have time simply say no then uh, coming back to the presentation we have one or two three more journals in the queue then we have ij fcm indian journal of forensic and community medicine for this particular journal dr suraj sundagri is considered as best reviewer apart from dr suraj dr vijaynath dr kedar gautam mehta also has been considered as best reviewer then we have pjms panasia journal of medical sciences Dr Kafil Akhtar has been considered as best reviewer uh, for the academic year 23 and Dr Khalid Mohammad is recognized as best reviewer this is also one of our DOJ index journal then we have uh, other uh, journal of community health management for this Dr Dhruvendra Pandey i want to congratulate one of our speaker Dr Dhruvendra sir for uh, being the best reviewer for the academic year 23 and uh dr avinash borkar and dr mohammad ashraful alam is the best reviewer for this journal now thank you i want to uh, i will be looking for your suggestions and feedback we value your feedback and we welcome your suggestions and feedback for improving the quality of the journals please share your thoughts on how we can enhance the journal to better uh, in better terms to meet your needs and we appreciate your time thank you for your time and considerations again last but not least i want to thank you all the attendees for being a part of this session i want to thank you all the uh, i want to thanks to all the panelists and uh, i want to share a plaque of appreciation for our speakers so thank you so much dr dhruvendra pandey for sparing your valuable time and sharing your uh, inputs as a keynote speaker on today uh, session on meticulous facts about reviewership thank you so much and i want to thanks dr jyotsna ma'am dr jyotsna please uh, like uh, accept this as a black of appreciation as a keynote speaker on today's session on meticulous facts about reviewership and thank you for putting your valuable insights in this particular session and thank you to all
so uh, if you have any queries or any questions you can write in the comment box or in the chat section we will be answering the questions shortly or after this meeting you will be getting a mail regarding the feedback and regarding the certifications over there also you can write regarding any of the queries if you have thank you so much thank you shishti it was well well coordinated program Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope there is no questions in the question answer session. Uh, All clear, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Shashtik, have you checked the chat box also for question answers? Uh, just a minute, I'm checking. Like, I suppose I, there's one, one question. One question is there. Like somebody is asking, how can we add the reviews in Orchid ID? Hmm. So I would like to request. Uh, Dr. Yeah. yeah, I just answered that uh, for the ORCID that uh, that journal uh, or editor, they have submit that uh, this person is reviewed the articles and they have submit to the ORCID that uh, this article is reviewed by this reviewer. That a particular reviewer cannot add uh, directly to the Arc ORCID because it's not the, there in the private uh, mailbox or private uh, in their login. So basically journal have to add that that is so uh, firstly you have to check that uh, that uh, that journal uh, which you are uh, a reviewer uh, is this a, a orchid index or not if that is orchid index then uh, the journal is automatically i think all of that journal submitted those are uh, reviewer process to that orchid and it will show in your uh, uh, login id now these days the journals are linked with the orchid or pablons so this yes. is being added to the credit Surely. Yes. And uh, for this, actually, we have a number of uh, uh, presentation in our YouTube channels also, how to add your articles on the Arc or Arc or sheet and this uh, Pablon, etc. So you just go through that. Uh, you, you may find in the resource number of things. And uh, uh, for uh, even for ease, we can share you the YouTube link in the uh, response email to you all. And for the webinar resources, once the session will be done, you'll be getting a mail into your inbox. There you'll be getting a uh, directly link to the website. From there, you can download the uh, resources. You can access to the video, the recording of the session, and also you'll be getting the PPTs at the end of the session. Uh, or also you can download it from the website. So thank you. Thank you for being a part of the session. Thank you so much to everyone. Have a great time, Mahim. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.